When working with exponential expressions, it's important to be comfortable with the words that are used to designate certain components of the expression so that you'll know where to look when the instructor is explaining the concepts to you, or you'll know what to do when you're asked to do these problems in study sets, in quizzes, or taking a test. Now recall, exponents are used to represent repeated multiplication. It is how many times the base is used as a factor. In this expression, 2 to the third, this is an exponential expression. The 2 is the base, it's the value that's repeatedly multiplied, and 3, the number that's smaller and up and to the right, is the exponent. It tells you how many factors of that base you are to use. If they ask me to write this expression without using exponents, they want me to write the multiplication out. So here, I notice that 2 is the base, I'm going to use that repeatedly as a factor, and 3, the exponent, tells me that I'm going to use 2 as a factor 3 times. So I have 2 times 2 times 2. That's writing the expression without exponents. If they ask me to evaluate the expression, they actually want me to carry out the multiplication and find the value that it's worth. So to evaluate this, I would take 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8. So there's a little recap of the idea of the vocabulary that goes along with exponential expressions. Remember, 2 to the third is an exponential expression, specifically with an exponent of 3. Sometimes we say it's 2 cubed. The base, 2 in this case, is the factor that you are to use in the repeated multiplication. And the exponent, the number that's smaller and up to the right, tells you how many factors of that base you are to use in the expression. Well, I hope this has been helpful to explain a little bit more about the vocabulary that goes along with exponential expressions. And I hope this helps you to be able to follow along in the presentations of the material and also be able to understand better what they want you to do in the questions and the study sets and on quizzes and exams.